story is all new at 11 and it starts with a question. How would you feel about a high voltage power source in your backyard? Well, that's exactly what some neighbors in Alexandria are concerned about. They're worried about a substation that would help power a proposed data center in that area. Tonight, our Katie Lusso went to a packed open house where people were told they'd have a chance to voice their concerns. Those I spoke with who live near where this power plant would be left here frustrated and told me they feel left out of the process, a process that will directly affect them. But a rep for Dominion says that is not the case. We have no say about it so far and I don't see one coming. Questions and concerns Tuesday night. I don't want it here. I don't want the noise. I don't want the traffic from those who live near Etzel Road. What happens if something was to happen catastrophic hazardous? The main concern, how close the development would be to homes. The data center is going to be less than 250 feet from some brand new um, townhomes. Last month we told you about the controversy concerning current zoning laws. They allowed the data center to be built without public input. Tuesday night's open house was solely focused on the power lines and substation that Dominion Energy says will be needed. Whether it's a 7-Eleven or a church or a data center, it's the distribution lines that come out of the substation that serve individual customers. Robert Richardson is with Dominion Energy. We understand their concerns. We understand why they're concerned. This is something new in their neighborhood. For about two hours inside Bryn Mawr Park Elementary School, Dominion Energy reps offered insight on a proposed substation along Edsel Road, but neighbors say they don't feel like their concerns are being heard. We need a voice. We need to say we pay taxes too. You know, they were saying, I don't feel like my voice is being heard. I feel like they were telling me this is what's happening. Here you go. What, so what, what I've said to those people here tonight is this is not the end of the end of the communication input process. He says all of the concerns shared will be passed along to the state corporation commission. This is not the end for you to be able to provide public input. And we're going to put more information, including a timeline of the proposed project on our website, WUSA9.com. Outside Bren Park Elementary School in Fairfax County, I'm Katie Lusso, WUSA9.